Okay, in this video, I just want to introduce um, the famous Moody chart. And basically, the, the Moody chart um, for any turbulent flow. So you see all these lines here. Now, don't be afraid. It's actually a very easy graph to read. Um, but the Moody chart only applies to turbulent flow systems. So if you have a system and you figured out that the Reynolds number is greater than 2000, um, you can use um, turbulent flow methods to figure out um, the values on this Moody chart. And this Moody chart basically has three things. Um, on the right, you can't see it, but it's it's our epsilon over d, which is our relative roughness. I talked about that in the last video. And here at the bottom, you have the Reynolds number. Um, they have Reynolds number is equal to rho, um, rho times the average velocity times the diameter over mu. And remember, in our... Um, if you have that little index card written down, if you if you looked at the last, I think, um, not the video um, before this one, but the one before that, um, we have Reynolds number. So if you have your Reynolds number, you have your um, roughness coefficient, and then here on the left, you have your frictional factor. And usually, we we either know the roughness coefficient and the Reynolds number, or we have to calculate those two values, and we use those two values to estimate the frictional factor. Okay? And the very, very first thing you want to do is figure out your Reynolds number in any turbulent flow problem and your roughness coefficient, because your roughness coefficient um, gives you gives you this which of these black lines to use. So say Say your roughness coefficient you found to be um, 0 0.004, which is this value right here. So if, if that was true, if you found your roughness coefficient to be 0 0.004, you would use this black line that curves up here. Okay, so it's this black line. Now let's say your, um, uh, your roughness coefficient was 0 0.004, okay? And your Reynolds number, you found out to be, I don't know, we can say maybe 2 times 10 to the 5th, um, which would be this value right here, so it's obviously turbulent. You would you'd use the point zero zero four and the Reynolds number, 2 times 10 to the 5th, and you would, you would estimate, if you go up to this line, you would see that the black line and the Reynolds number crosses about here, right? And if you if you bring that over here, you can figure out that the Reynolds number, or I mean the frictional factor, I'm sorry, the frictional factor is between 0 0.025 and 0 0.03, okay? Um, I don't know what that number is off the, well, maybe we can figure it out. If this is 0 0.025, and there's one, two, three, four, um, five. It goes by increments of 0 0.001. So 0 0.025, 0 0.026, 0 0.027, 0 0.028. So using, um, let me write that down, 0 0.028. Okay, so if we found out that our roughness coefficient was 0.004, and we find out that our Reynolds number was 2 times 10 to the 5th, we can see the intersection here, the frictional factor, would be um, about 0 0.028, okay? And remember, we can, we can use the frictional factor, um, flip this over, we can use the frictional factor in our major loss formula, which, remember, was the frictional factor times L over D, uh, V average squared over... 2g. So now, using the Moody chart, we know how to calculate our frictional factor. Okay?